Hello everyone and welcome um, to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all looking good and feeling fine. I was a bit, I realise I'm behind on my YouTube video, so I'm trying to catch up as rapidly as possible. And this morning I wanted to share with you um, almost like what I perhaps go through on a weekly basis about which class to play. Now, what I'm doing this in the order to just sort of like, in order to just share with you. Um, I don't expect any fantastic answers, but you. I thought it would give you uh, an insight into my mind and how I think about things. Uh, I'm going to focus on Black Desert Online at the moment. Um, so I'm going to talk mainly about that, but it really applies to any other um, RP, RPG or MMO that I play, wherever there needs to be a decision. Now, I often say um, to um, people, just tell me what to play. Just tell me what to play and I'll play. And I do realise that that is not the way forward uh, at all. And I do feel that I have to almost like um, play a lot of characters, a lot of classes to actually feel the class that I feel more at home with. And I think that's really important. Also, because of my limited amount of time playing, I want to reduce the class so far as if it can have lots of options. So it's not just a one shot thing. It can do lots of things. So if I need to change, then I can actually change. So this is my um, my ES, my BDO account. And I'm really getting back into Black Desert Online. I found it very difficult in the past to actually get into the game. And you can already see how many characters I've got, <laughs> you know, so, but I'm, I got introduced to Enchanting the other day, which was absolutely unbelievable. And I must say, I'm a bit, um, because it's very mathematical, I'm a bit involved with it at the moment. Anyway, I did start a season character. This is my season witch, which I, which, which um, I'm 56 level, which I'm actually, um, you have to say, I see how many times I actually say the word witch while talking about a witch. That that would be an interesting thing uh, to do. No, we won't have a counter on that about that. Um, so what I've tried to do, and I'm trying to do it with the three games I really play, um, is try to actually, if there's an event on or something, actually participating in that event. So I'm currently... Um, leveling um, the witch and I'm trying to get the items up so when she graduates she can come down now I did have a wizard at one point but um, a lot of the time if there's two options like witch or wizard and they're virtually the same then I I play them both for a while and then decide which one to go to and I really preferred well to be honest with you I preferred the pets of the witch rather than the pets of the wizard. Now, this is also true of uh, my mystic. Um, so my mystic here was the first character. I got it up to 56 level. I actually played a striker and a mystic to start off with and just played with them both. And then I suddenly realized that I find the striker very slow moving and not as, um, adept or quick so i went with the mystic i was so disappointed with the mystic because i like her playing style a lot but i actually thought she was going to have a dragon to play by her side and then i got really disappointed that you know it whirls around for a moment and then it literally just goes which i was very disappointed in the other thing that i will say is that i quite like awakening weapons and things like that so i look at the end weapon that i want to use and almost like go towards that because to me in any game looks are the most important okay then so let's go on to i've leveled um a musa okay i really liked playing my musa i love his crescent blade uh between his name's dichotomy which i think is an excellent name but between this and the Mei Wei, Mei Wu, um, I definitely preferred the um, the Musa. 
Um, I found him very difficult to level. And again, I stopped at 56 just to play other characters and see where they're going. I do have um, another 56 level character. When the Guardian came out, I played that and leveled her. Really like her playing style, really like her axe and a shield and not too keen on the awakened weapon. I was hoping it would look more like the axe that she's actually carrying now, but it looks more like a staff. I really do like the Guardian and she has a lot of potential and I really like shields and axes and 200 weapons. So she's really sort of like up there with the, the other classes. Um, classes that are on the way... Um, Joe Beast here is my um, tamer. I've always been a real pet class. And one of the things I like about the tamer is she has a bow staff when she um, actually awakens. And I think it looks really cool. I really love the pet. I think he looks so evil. It's unbelievable. So this is something else that I'm trying to level up. I do have this weird um, problem among all the other problems is that if i see somebody else actually playing the character then i find who's really good at it <clears throat> i'm less likely to play it and i'm trying to get over that i'm trying to get over that at the moment so other characters i've made up um this is my gender fluid um shy and i really like the shy and it's the only character i've got up to 57th level and i almost like consider myself a main shy I really like the crafting skills. I really like um, the the weapon, the boomerang and the music that they use. Um, you might be a bit confused. I was confused when I made this character because I thought that if you made it look like a male, it became a male. But obviously, that's not the case at all. Um, Gin Wills is my um, archer. I read somewhere that the... Um, Archer is one of the least played classes around. And I thought, haha, I'll play an archer. Really do like his playing style. Um, I'm a bit ashamed that he actually has his awakening weapon from the start, which is a bit strange. I also started um, a warrior called Stockade, which I really like the name. I think... He can have a two-handed sword, but I also think his success, succession is a sword and shield still. And I really like the idea of a warrior. I really, I'm really into sort of like physical combat at the present moment of time. Less sort of like stand off, but more sort of like get in there and cause some damage. Haste, hence my Musa, etc. So this character is on the way. I'm not going to delete him. I'm going to keep with him and progress. So other things that we have in the action joe blades is is my lan um i really like the idea of the lan and i really like this sort of like look a sip of coffee i really like the look and um, there's some brilliant lan players out there now um i don't think it's a very popular class and i really like her weapons i think her weapons are absolutely fantastic so that's something else that i'm considering playing um, Hoopla, um, this is my uh, assassin class and the one thing that I like about the assassin class is actually the idea of having a um, uh, the awakened weapon of the, the hoop. I really like the idea of that. So this is all sort of like ready. Now I'm just going to go on to the trial and to sort of like look at the other characters. So um, warrior, yes. Ranger, I almost like the fact that her awakened weapon is two um, daggers or twins daggers. And I really like the idea of, oh, her head moves, look, with my mouse. I never noticed that. Um, I know shield meta plays one really well, but that's not stopping me playing one. Sorceress, I really like the... Um, the almost like the um, black magic sort of like art side of her. Um, I'm not too sure whether or not I would be good playing her or not because apparently she's very difficult. Um, Berserker, I really like the idea of. I love the twin axes. 
I wouldn't go Awakening with him. I would stay with Succession because I hate the gun. Um, absolutely. Um, Valkyrie, I'm always drawn to all the time. Um, especially with her lance and her um, shield. I think they look superb weapons. And I don't know whether or not to play a Valkyrie or Warrior. That's what I'm stuck about on that one. Dark Knight. Oh, how this character, that sword is like unbelievable. I just love it how she just leaves it there. The only trouble with my Dark Knight, if I played ever played one, is that I'm looking for a look that is not all dressed in black with white hair. Because I feel everybody actually does that. And then that's it. So the other ones that I've not uh, spoken about, I'm not even thinking about doing. So I have a Mystic. I don't see why I would need a Striker as well. Um, I have a Musa, so I don't need a, a Mewa um, at all. And I have a Kunuchi, so I don't need a, a Ninja. So I, I'm still... Obviously, that's the wizard. Um, I've got a witch, so I don't need one of, of the wizards at all. <clears throat> I do like the new class that's coming out. The new class that is coming out looks really cool as well. Um, with the um, twin swords, etc. So, yeah, so that's a possibility as well. Okay, so that's it. That's what I go through on a daily basis, trying to create my characters um, if you've got any suggestions of the class that you think I might enjoy playing, then do put them in the comments below. I really like um, character classes that have a heal. A heal is really important for me because I tend to play solo, so I need a heal to sort of like keep me up. Um, I also, I'm moving more to physical combat rather than ranged. So I'm really looking to get into the action more rather than more standoffish. Um, and as for weapons, well, I just like them all. I like sh shield, shields, two-handed weapons and twin weapons. So, you know, and to, you know, it, everything. So that's not an issue. Okay. Sorry that this is, I hope you've enjoyed this um, video and give, it in, give you some insight to what I go through every week. I'm getting back onto my schedule of making videos, so please do stick around. And if you've enjoyed this video, please press the subscribe button. It costs you nothing to subscribe, and it takes me one step closer to my dream of being a content creator. Until next time, have fun, everybody, and I'll catch you all later. And until then, see ya. Bye. That was not the ending I should have done there.